cool, cool, cool. It is cold in here, so you're gonna have to deal with the heater. But, I had a package show up. I already uh, opened it and looked at it. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to uh, get a look at this, but we've got American Shifter Company. So, my cars that I've been wanting to build, uh, I started putting together that 67 Charger, and I wanted to build that, but then the steel came up with the 66 Cornet that I have yet to pick up. So, um, I've still been buying parts. I bought a bunch of parts to do a disc brake conversion. Uh, I got the 383 motor sitting back there. I got the transmission sitting back there as well. Um, amongst a few other things, this and that. But now I'm just not sure, um, since I was building the 67 Charger, I think all this is switching over to the 66 Cornet, which is still fine because I've got all the shifter assembly stuff. And what this is, is a, a kit that mounts to the transmission and then just comes through the floor, makes it just a floor shift. So it's got the shifter assembly, rod or, you know, lever arm cable that goes through the, the shifter. So uh, the plan is I'm just going to cut a hole in the floor and then run a shifter boot with the arm coming through. And uh, the coronet that I'm getting, it is a column shift, but I'll put a, uh, a floor shifted column in it. And yeah, pretty much. So I opened this up because I wanted to take a look at it. Uh, there's a bunch of tiny little pieces here, but uh, I want to get this kind of out, get it looked at, and I'm going to pull the transmission up and actually put it up here, and I want to test fit it on the transmission, see what it actually looks like. So, got nuts and bolts. Got a bunch of little brackets that I have no idea what they do. All kinds of different things. And we'll pour those out too, I guess. Does this have... Yeah, it's got a part number. Maybe... Because I don't think the other thing, I don't think there's any directions in this. So that could be a problem. Like this, that's where that was. We got more brackets in here. Okay, based on the picture of the shifter, I think I know where that goes. But other than that, we got just a box. Nothing else in it. Okay. Uh, we got the shifter. I think I got a 12 inch and so then this is also a dual action shifter you can use the knob to uh, shift it or you can move it side to side and one of the actions in here allows you to basically ratchet it side to side to put it into gear as well so that'll be cool whichever one i end up liking better there's one of the ratcheting assemblies bracket and yeah basically this mounts uh this will use this sort of top plate bracket this kind of sits along the top of the transmission and this allows you to shift uh mount it in several different locations and then these come off of here and mount to parts on the side of the transmission they're pretty nifty i've always wanted to use one i've just never had a vehicle or you know I, i've seen these and known of them and i always thought it'd be cool to use one because they are pretty nifty looking but I've just never had the right vehicle until now. So I'm quite interested or, you know, curious to see how this ends up looking. Like that looks like it would go down to maybe some transmission pan bolts. No, because it's on the wrong side. Yeah, anyway, we'll have to figure that one out as well. Got the shift knob. Looks like we got some different colors to stylize. I don't know, interesting. Yep, one of those. See? really surprised this doesn't come with directions. That is honestly what really shocks me here. I don't know if they're supposed to, and this one just didn't come with them, or if they just don't send directions and just let you figure it out. And that's the adjusting rod. Another mounting bracket for somewhere. And, oh, the box is empty now. There's more of the ratchet assembly. Okay. Well, let me slap the transmission up here and we'll figure out how this all fits. Okay, well, at this point, it looks like there's instructions online. You can download them. You have to go through uh, their website, download it. Uh, they ask for your email, they'll send you your email, it's supposed to do a confirmation. 
none of that's working for me. So, at this point in time, I have to see if I can get that figured out, but uh, I think I'm just going to wing it for now and uh, see what I can make sense of all this. So, I'm sure once you start hooking things together, it'll start making sense. Like that. Obviously, it looks like it goes on this side. So we're going to go over there. Put something like that. But, those two bolts right there so now we gotta run stud basically yes that's how that would work run studs all the way through there put nuts on top and I know enough about this kit that there is a difference um, my kick down might be a problem. We'll see about that. Because you got a linkage that bolts up here. Um, that linkage is what actually operates off of this guy. And that might be right in the way of interfering with the kick down. So that might be an issue. We'll have to see. Otherwise, we got a whole bunch of nuts and bolts. We got frame joint ends. More threaded rods, some shorty. Yeah. I think we can make sense of that. We'll see. Let me play around with this a little bit. I won't make you agonize through all this. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We're like four hours later, and we're to here. So, turns out this is basically impossible to put together without instructions. So, the instructions are a must. Basically have to do those. <laughs> um, and of course, none of this fit together very well. It's kind of a silly setup. The uh, band adjustment bolt here is one of the mounting points that they end up using. And that I had to hammer and adjust and grind on the backside a little bit to actually get it to fit properly, which made all this kind of wonky and made this guy, well, this guy wasn't even close anyways. This one was, you know, sitting way up here. So I had to bend this more to match that. It does go down there. And so it does work. It's kind of, kind of goofy. These guys bolt in. Um, it hits the housing right on top, so it bent it a little bit, but it does fit. Otherwise, it is on. Um, you got the high joints. I was really curious about the kick down, and it appears that it clears. So, that's good. Um, I might need to bend it up just a hair here to clear the bar, because when you come out of park, actually into drive, we get real close and I think we're actually hitting there. See, yeah, you can see that. So I think if I bend this either just up, you know, I'd probably even just leave it up or add a little bit of kick to it. I think I can get all that cleared. So that shouldn't be a problem. But amazingly, that seems to do good. The shifter, I'm not done with yet. I am amazed with how much adjustment is in this thing. You know, there's adjustments in this bar. You can mount them differently. Once you get the main brackets on, this whole bar can slide kind of back and forth. Um, I am pretty much at the furthest back with how long this rod is, uh, which is looking at some of my other cars. My dad's car, his center console's out right now, which is nice. So his factory shifter, in reference to where this bar comes through the floor, um, is set back just a little bit. So this actually where it's at I think it's going to be further back than an original uh, shifter, if you will, for a center console car, which I think will actually be good. Because those ones always seem like they're, they're a little bit of a reach up there, so this one I can have some adjustment and have it be a little bit closer kind of to your side in the car. But I can play with that at least. But yeah, it's amazing the all the different adjustments in it. I'm pretty impressed. One of the things that I don't have that I'm going to have to figure or don't have yet, um, I did buy the shifter where this is cable operated. So the cable 
is what operates this and that's what allows you to ratchet it all back and forth uh, I bought one I forget what they called it but it's basically a side sway guy to where you can take the shifter and move it side to side and that's how you can uh, end up moving the shifter and so instead of pushing the button at the top of the uh, uh, shifter here you'll end up just moving it side to side so I still got to put that on and figure it out but as of now we're pretty much together and kind of how we should be so I got to wait until I actually get ready to put this in a car before I get too much further with you know tightening all of these and making all my real final adjustments but it does seem like it's gonna work pretty good so I'm kind of excited this should be should be pretty cool um, what else oh yeah instructions wise I did finally end up uh, finding the instructions online like I said that was a must to put this together one of them the instructions these bolts here I had a thought on it uh, it said to run them through and then you put nuts on the top side but I decided to go the other way around putting the nut through uh, or the bolt through and then nutting on the bottom side because that basically makes it a stud on the bottom side since in theory this should never move again and you'll need to eventually do a service on the transmission you know change the fluid and change the filter so that would make it easier to get the pan off thus running them down i think that makes more sense but not how the instructions said to do it but small change i think it'll end up doing better so yeah, now I just gotta get a car to put this in. I'm still thinking that Cornette's gonna be it. Otherwise that, uh, that charger's, that 67 charger's next on the list. So I think I'm gonna tuck this back away for now and it'll be a little while before I mess with this again. So until that happens, we'll see you then. Take it easy.